I want to take these labels off and then pull the wire. All right, guys, I'm all done extending the wire. Today we have the Juke audio in front of us again. So now I have to figure out with the app how to switch to the analog input. All right guys, sorry for the fan noise. I am about to sand this. It looks like it's mostly dry. Put a coat on that, but I went and got the speaker wire for this stuff and all I have to do now is start figuring out. I wanna take these labels off and then pull the wire. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna cut about right here because I know I need to add maybe two feet and I'm gonna start with kitchen, but I need my labeler. So let's go ahead and cut kitchen. I just bought some brand new snipping tools. There's the answer to that. Can't use these. Plan B. All right, I got uh, my little brand new die cutters from Ace Hardware. I'm gonna cut off about, I don't know, that much. Doesn't really have to be specific. And then I'm gonna use my TinCon connectors. We're gonna go gold positive, silver negative. I went ahead and stripped some off of there. These just push right on right through the center. The solder's in the center. You push one through, right through the center. We're gonna grab our heat gun and melt the solder. It'd be good to go. I'm gonna test it after. Last thing I want is an issue inside the wall. That would be a nightmare. I forgot we gotta do this twice for each wire. This is literally gonna take me a long time. All right, guys, I'm all done extending the wires. You can see right here, this took me about three hours to do. And I ended up, when I started doing it, I was using electrical tape over the solder shrink connectors, but I ended up starting to use heat shrink tubing, which I should have done the whole time. I learned my lesson that that was the way to go. 75% of them are heat shrink tubing. The other ones are electrical tape over solder connectors. This box is next up here. At the top, I gotta go ahead and cover that with a patch kit and get this one all squared away as well. All right, we are back and today we have the Juke audio in front of us. Now don't 
be confused between this and Juke Micronics in the movie Shattered Glass. Nothing to do with each other. Juke Audio does make whole home amplifiers. And you can see right in front of me, they have worked with me on this a little bit to give me a little bit of a good discount on something in order to go ahead and promote for them. Now this is rack mountable. Here are the ears right here. I am not going to be rack mounting it. It's going to be sitting on top of a piece of furniture. And you can see in the back of the Juke, it has plugs for the zones. This is a eight zone unit. You can get them in either six or eight. You can buy the six and then upgrade it to the eight with a software update. You just email their customer service and they will send you an invoice and you can go ahead and get this for $300 more and upgrade to eight zones. When you buy the six zone, these two zones here are disabled. So what I did is I had kind of a cool idea for hooking this up. These are the plugs that go in the back where the speakers go and our little pins are gonna go in there. But if you look what I did, I put zone one and two, and then I marked the positives with a red pen. According to the map on the back that you wire with, I just did that for everything. So there's one and two three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So all we have to do now is go over to the closet and start wiring these because the wires are actually ready now. When, when it's time to actually do the plug-in, all we have to do is push the amp up to these plugs and go ahead and plug it in. So let's take all this stuff to the closet. We don't need the amp yet. All we need are these four little plugs and we'll go ahead and start wiring up our zones. We're back over here at the closet now and you can see all of our wiring here for the multi-zone audio system hanging down. Every one of them has a pin on the end. I thought it would be good because the old switch had push style speaker connectors. The new one has screws in it. So you just screw down on these tiny little screws and these pins should fit perfectly right inside of these terminals here, I hope. Hopefully they don't get in the way of each other if they're too I'm seeing now they might not go, but uh, I'm hoping they did. I spent a lot of time on this, but um, yeah, all I have to do right now is find zone one and two. I don't really have to make zone one and two anything in particular. So really anything I want to, I can hook up to uh, zone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I can fix everything in the actual app, which I will show you guys later. So for right now, what we're going to do is go ahead and start wiring up our zones and we're going to do that now. So stay tuned and we're going to clean all this wiring up in the process so we can then paint the closet because we are almost done with the prep work. We're just filling our last big hole right here and then we'll be ready to paint. So let's get working on this wiring. Test it first. Go grab a stool to put this amp on. We'll test it. So I didn't show you guys the back of the amp where the analog audio input is. It's basically a USB connection and you purchase this dig digit now USB audio capture device and that feeds analog into the juke. That's how you get analog in. Now the Juke Plus, the new one has built-in analog, but it's quite a bit more expensive. It also outputs more power. We do have a leak.
All right, good morning guys. It is a fresh day and I wanted to come in here and show you guys exactly what I got done yesterday and what my plan is going to be for this morning. So yesterday we got a whole lot done. Basically, we got all the walls patched. You can see we filled a huge hole, but right up here where, get enough, where the, uh, wires were coming through when we moved them down there. We filled the hole where our subwoofer jack was up there and we have basically everything ready now for paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape the floor off this morning. Notice we have our subwoofer jack chilling in here. We got our plate for our ethernet in here. So we're ready for ethernet as well. All we have to do now is tape the floor and go ahead and paint this room. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep for that right now.